I was just wondering if you could talk a little about when uh, it's appropriate to use the whole arm and when to just use the wrist and fingers for string crossings. I see. Yeah, that's a little bit of a confusing subject. I mean, um, because there's so many different kinds of crossings and just all kinds of musical situations. Um, but the basic string crossing is a whole arm. When I say whole arm, look at my upper arm. So I'm crossing from the shoulder. Uh, it's a... Uh, crossing in there, but then when there are, there are times also where it's better to use the wrist and fingers, maybe when we're on two adjacent strings, something such as that. So what happens when you're only using your wrist and fingers is you go across the bow, you lose your hair and you start to lay on the side of the stick. Okay. So that's the reason if you use your, if you cross with your whole arm, now you're balanced on the G string, now you're balanced on the D string, now you're balanced on the A string. First practice in a rapid tempo to feel the whole arm, then gradually slowing using more and more bow. Slower and use more bow as you get slower. The idea is to use the whole bow. And the whole time on the C string moving to the G, the whole time on the G moving to the E, and the whole time on the... So the motion is absolutely continuous. Right. So that will give you very legato uh, bow technique for melodic passages like... Uh... So something like that, instead of... So there's a musical purpose for that if you want a really beautiful legato, so that's worth learning. Now what's kind of nice is once we get this motion going, even if we change to this, this string crossing stays exactly the same. We can also do... Can you see how my arm is going up and down in the same arc? It's the same motion. Just it's the same motion, and whether we do whatever down bows and up bows we add, you know, that's... Try it.